Hey there, video of Sajizi here. So in this video, I'll be sharing on how to set up Google Firebase and incoming webhook using Integrum and Huawei Plus. So the, the first step is you need to go to Google and just search for Google Firebase. And we'll find a link for Firebase Google. Just click on the link. Okay, so if this is the first time, just click on Get Started. Click on Create a Project and give your project a name. So for example, this project, I'll just put a uh, wall plus. Set the terms and continue. So just click continue. And here, select your location of your country. For example, I'm seeing Malaysia, so I just select Malaysia. Accept the terms and proceed creating your project. So this may take some time. Okay, so once your project is ready, just click continue and we'll start uh, creating our database in Firebase. So click on the build and go to the real time database. So we will be using a real time database as a medium between Huawei Plus and our system that we are going to trigger the webhook so from the webhook the data will go to the real-time database and then from there it will go to whatsapp via Huawei plus okay so proceed create on um, create the database and choose your region so let's say i'm seeing in Malaysia, so i choose singapore click next and actually you can start using log mode or test mode so but log mode is easier for this example i'm using a test mode so just change the database setting um if, if if you don't change it it will only be valid for 30 days so i just uh change that setting to true so i can it doesn't have any expiry so just change it to true and publish the settings the read through and write through means that uh database uh, we can read data and also uh, send data okay so uh, this is the database url which we will key in inside our web plus setting the five base setting so the we need api key first so for the api key go back to firebase next to the project view there's a project setting menu so go there and you'll find the setting for user and permission from there you can find the web api key so that one is the one you need to copy and paste into the wow web setting the next one is a project id which is wow plus so we just keep, keep in there and the last one is the database url so just go back to real time database and copy the full url and key in in wow web plus to make sure you save the setting and now we are going to add a new webhook to Huawei Plus. So just click on the add new webhook. And uh, post. Okay, it's an incoming webhook. So there's a requirement to key in the data channel. So this is something like the folder whereby you can use the uh, the same real-time database for a few Huawei Plus account or a few WhatsApp web uh, numbers. So just create one, for example, for this one. Uh, we will use a demo one. Okay, so now we, uh, I'm going to show how to use uh, the Huawei Plus in module in Integromat. So yeah, I normally prefer Integromat over Publi or Zapier because it's easier to use and easier, cheaper, and more reliable. Lah. So just click on create a new scenario and this part we can just skip. Click skip. Okay, so for the first step, uh, for the first module, we will use a webhook to capture the data from our platform or system that we are using. Uh, so just uh, search for webhook and custom webhook. So you need to give a, add a webhook and give it a name. So just put any name. So for this one is a demo or plus. You can use your platform name or anything. At this point, you to identify. So you have you receive a webhook to capture the data. This one you need to key in into your system, which I will show you later. Uh, 
Okay, so now just uh, click OK. And we'll add another module, which is the custom WoW, WoW Web Plus module. Make sure you accept first the invitation using the specific link. So uh, once you have accepted the invitation for the module, only then you, it will appear in your Integromat. Okay, so we use the send message module. So the data first, you need to key in the database connection. This one is uh, like the authentication for your database to WoW Web Plus, the one that we have created early on. So there's two fields you need to key in. Uh, which is the database URL and data child node. So just copy the database URL that uh, from real time data real time database. Copy the whole URL. Make sure you copy the whole URL with the backslash and key in the data child node that you have created in Wow Plus setting, which is demo one for this purpose. And just click continue. So again, make sure you have the backslash in the URLs. So it, it will save the connection setting. Now we, we will try to send a test message using the module. So just key in your phone number or the phone number you want to send the message to and key in the message. For example, this is just a test. So this is uh, then just click OK. And right click on the module and run, click run test module to see if the message is successful or not. So you process the data and you see a number one there. So this one shows that it is successful. So we'll check in WhatsApp, see if the message is sent. So, okay, so you see that the message is sent. Okay, so this means it's successful, no problem. Okay, so for an actual scenario, actually we will be triggering the webhook where the webhook will then pass the variables or the data that the webhook has received to the Huawei Plus module. Okay, so from webhook, they will, they will go to the Huawei Plus module. So I'll show a demo using swipe pages. Just a simple form that I've created using swipe pages. So this is a form I created using swipe pages, a simple form, name and phone number, WhatsApp number. So uh, when I go back to the dashboard of the swipe pages, and set the webhook in the integration part. So the webhook, I will need to get it from Integromat from the back from the scenario. So just go to the Integrom webhook module and select the webhook that you've created earlier on. So that one is the demo wow plus. Co copy the address and paste it into the swipe so pages or the one the system that you use. Make sure that the HTTP method is a post method. You need to use the post method for the passing the data to the webhook. Uh, so you don't need to put any header to pass the data to Integromat. So just we just need to make sure that the fields are being sent correctly from the system that you're using. So for swipe pages, I need to click continue. And so these are the two fields that swipe pages will pass using the webhook to Integromat. Click continue. So we continue. And we need to try and trigger the webhook so Integromat can populate the data, see how the format is. So just go to this. Uh, I'm going to try submit a data through form and see if it's, it's triggered. So just click on redetermine data structure. So we want to check the format first. So okay, and just key in the details. And let's see what happens. Okay, so the data is going to be captured. See, so it's successful. So click OK. Now we want to populate the data from the webhook to the Wow Web Plus module. So just click on the Wow Web Plus module. So we change the phone number to the actual data being captured by the webhook. So that is the field of WhatsApp. And we can key in the name from the webhook and key in the message. So uh, using the Wawet Plus module, you can use uh, multiple lines and you can even put emoji easily, no problem. You don't need to use the raw JSON like using uh, like in the tutorial from uh, Wawet Plus. So just click OK. OK, so now we want to see if the data is going to be OK. Uh, scenario is going to successful or not. Just click on click run once. 
Okay, so we want to see if it's successful. So now we try key in the data again in our in five pages, or you, it depends on your system that you're using. So just uh, for this case, it's five pages. Okay, we see in WhatsApp. Okay, so we uh, submitted the form. Message has been received, has been sent. So the message has been sent and Integromat, go to Integromat and see if it's successful. So if you chose the number one, means that it is successful. So that's all I think. So you can add other modules. So I have created four modules for our web class, uh, send media, send message to group and send media to group. Um, so I hope this tutorial is helpful and if you have any question, just ask in the group and I'll try to help my best. Thank you, good luck and have a nice day.